With Nano Dimensions Dragonfly Additive Manufacturing System, you can assemble components in many different ways using reflow, vapor phase, manual soldering, or silver epoxy. Let's take a closer look at silver epoxy assembly. Silver epoxy is a conductive two part epoxy that acts as a conductive adhesive to bond components to printed PCBs. Silver epoxy has a resistivity of 0.001 ohms per centimeter of material. Silver epoxy does not require heat to be applied to the PCB and thus has a lower chance of damaging the PCB. It should be noted that when applying silver epoxy, there is a one hour period where the epoxy can be applied and removed if necessary. Once the epoxy has cured, there is no possible way to rework the material. Silver epoxy should be used on pads that have leads with large pitches between them. Silver epoxy will bond to both the insulator and conductor and will increase the structural integrity of the component. When you begin, make sure the PCB is clean and free of contaminants. To clean the PCB, use isopropyl alcohol, keep a clean cloth and all necessary tools in the work area. And before applying the epoxy, make sure the component fits the pad and will be installed with the correct polarity. Components should be installed by complexity followed by proximity. Start with the smaller and more complex components at the center of the PCB and work away from that component based on proximity. Silver epoxy is best used on passive components that do not have pads that could short together through epoxy squeeze out. When placing a component, always apply a small amount of epoxy to put the component in place and add more epoxy afterwards. Epoxy will not work on bottom mount components, through hole components, or pads that are too close to each other, which are small pitch leads. In this video, we take a closer look at assembling PCBs printed on the Dragonfly Additive Manufacturing System using silver epoxy, one of the various ways to solder components on our boards. Please contact Nano Dimension for more information.